Alvarado, the center fielder, George. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here. 0 and 1. 7 o'clock. And it's quickly 0 and 2. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's 1 and 2. And our game time temperature this evening, a nice 74 degrees. Now a swing and a miss on the slider as the leadoff man is set down on strikes to open up the ball game. Now one down with the bases empty, and that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out nod. Batting third. The shortstop. Marcus. Into the box now. Marcus Semyon. And this one's in the dirt. The 0 1. Good breaking ball there laid off for the second strike. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. From the belt the pitch and now a slider in there for a called third strike and there are two gone now. That is Rowdy good. Tellez the, the next to bat. Number 11. From the stretch. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. And he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him 1 and 1. Let's get it going boys. Somebody's loose hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Now about a 58 foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. He'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. That is it. The left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now, as he'll take a look at ball one. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. 2 0 oh. to the Jays' left fielder. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. Guerrero is on his way home. And the runner is in from second. The relay. The tag and he is out at third and with that the side is retired. So here is Tommy Pham. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Way to go for the Padre. The left field. Yes, he looks at a fastball Tommy. that's in there for strike one. There. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. 
The offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker changeup combination. He's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently. You have to find something above the belt to get loose on. Exactly. So bases are empty with one out now. And that'll bring up Jake Cronenworth. Here's the first pitch to him. One out, nobody on. Ooh, back to back tough pitches, and he's down 0 and 2 now. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Digging in now for San Diego. Fernando Tatis Jr. looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Now the pitch. The 1-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. Throw to first beats him easily and the side is retired. Digging in the switch hitter Dylan Carlson. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Right fielder number three. Dylan Ready to deal. Here comes Carlson. the first pitch. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. This one's flared out toward left. Tatis onto the grass. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Striding in is Lourdes Gurriel. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0 and 1. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 1. And the pitch. And it's 1 and 2. Popped up. Nola waits on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Ready now is Corey Dickerson. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Here's the first pitch to him. And he lays off there 1 and 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. That's lifted the other way out to left. Pham gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. And in steps Manny Machado. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Grounder down the line at third. Reined in. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Now at the plate, Matt Eric Fitz, Hosmer. The designated hitter, Eric Hosmer. And he'll step off. First delivery to him. That's a great sinker right there. These batters are going to have to bear down, because if he's got that good pitch working, it's going to be a long game. They might have to sit off speed. And quickly, there are two away. And now Got here it. is Will Meyer right trying to make something happen Will. with two gone in the bottom of the second. Meyer. First pitch on the way. 
sinker to open the AB in there for strike one. And it's one and one. Two out, nobody on. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Pops this one up. Tellez into foul territory. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Popped him up. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory. And that ends the inning. Now to the plate, Reese McGuire. Leading off for Toronto, the catcher, number seven. First pitch on its way. Good pitch there as he gets him to swing underneath it for strike one. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here, one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball. Just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Two and two the count. Into the windup and the pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. From 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, what a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Grisham is under it to make the catch for out number one. So it's back to the top of the order now. And former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. Now the first pitch. Now a check swing here. Did he go around? Yes, says Freddie Ferguson down at first. Strike one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away, and when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Grisham calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Base is empty two away and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. settles in at the plate. First pitch on the way. Two outs nobody on but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here middle of the order guys coming up and see if he can extend the inning. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. In now, Marcus Semyon, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's one that misses high. It's 1 and 1. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2 1 pitch is in there for the second strike. Now time is barked out by the home plate umpire. Two out with the man at first. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now three and two. Good spot for an RBI put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now he tries to hold back on the swing and the home plate umpire says he did so successfully. Mm, it's ball four. Now here's the first offering. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. That's in there. Base hit. Guerrero rounds third and is digging for the plate. Throw won't get him. The bat. The left hand. Teoscar. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. Two on, two out for him here in the third. 
And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, bang. Next to stand in is Dylan Carlson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First offering. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. One and one the count now. One and one. Here it is. And obviously a big spot here with the bases loaded, so he'll step out to rethink things. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Now a check swing but that's in there for strike three anyway and the inning is over. Bottom of the third now and that brings up Austin Nola. Hey Maddie, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. And he misses inside with that one ball one. Comes back with the cutter and gets it by him one and one now. Here's the pitch. Good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Now to the plate here is Adam Frazier. The second baseman. Adam. First pitch coming here it is. Frazier. Cut fastball inside ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and zero. Oh. That's lifted the other way out to left. Waiting on it is Hernandez, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So the bases are empty Batting with two gone, gone now, and Those that brings teams. up Trent Grisham. First delivery to him. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Line towards center field, and the Friars are into the hit column. The bat, the left fielder, to the plate Tommy. now. Tommy Pham, as he'll take yeah. a change up here for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Had him off balance a bit as this is skied into short left center. Hernandez is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Now to bat, Lourdes Gurriel comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's around first, heading for two. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now that is designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. At the plate, Corey Dickerson. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Myers going back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Now Next to bat for Toronto, Reese McGuire flew out in his only at bat so far. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd like a base hit of some sort right here, Matty. But hey, you know what? Another fly out wouldn't be all that bad. If he can get it deep enough, he should be able to drive in a nice run with a sack fly. And things are going to go from bad to worse now as a block has been called. And that's going to extend this lead. 
Infield in all around. Here's the first pitch. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Three runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Nope. And he lays off for ball one. Fouled off. Here comes the one two. Snatched out of midair at first base for out number two. George Springer the next to hit. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost Matty almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it with this guy's big power. He's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. The 1 0. Is laid off but in there for strike one. Hey I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down the way and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that that's off the end of the bat that's not hard contact at all and that's an easy out for the defense. Here comes the one two. Hit the other way out toward right field after it is Myers. He's there to track it down and that'll end the inning. Played is Jake Cronenworth. He's Leading 0 for up. 1 thus far. The first baseman. And now the first pitch. Cronenworth. Now the 1 0. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through for a base hit. Make him 1 for 2 in this one. Up next to the Padres. And that'll bring up That's Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando. Just Tatis. gets a piece of it. Strike one. Junior. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. And he's into second safely with a stolen base. Third Man at second 13. with one down, and that'll Manny. bring in Manny Machado. Machado. From the stretch, here's the pitch. No runs, two hits, no errors in the ball game for the Padres. Two and zero. Oh. Yeah, I think it's pretty clear they don't want to challenge this guy right here. But working around a guy can come back to bite you at times. Three and zero oh now. On deck, there's Eric Hosmer. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. The back. So here's the, the Padres DH. Eric, Eric Hosmer grounded out in his Hosmer. last at bat. First pitch on the way. Got him to reach out of the zone for that one. Strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. The 1-1. One, one. On the ground to second base. This could be two. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And digging in is the big time power threat. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Emilio Pagan, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Emilio Pagan. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Pagan. Typically throws a lot of strikes coming in out of the bullpen, resulting in low walk totals, although he has been snake bitten by the home run ball at times in the past. One of the keys for this guy, Matt, is not being afraid to attack the strike zone. With that said, he is prone to giving up the home runs. I think one of the cause of that, Matty V, he leaves a lot of pitches up in the strike zone. He needs to be down in the zone when he's effective. Fouled away. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. Here now the 2-2. 
And another foul ball. The 2 2 one more time is looked at, and the count moves full. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3 2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Hit hard to short. And the fifth oh. inning will start with a ground out, one away. And now, Marcus Simeon. It the was a shot. walk in his last Marcus. trip. Simeon. First pitch on its way. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. The batter, number 11. At the plate now, Rowdy Tellez. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Fastball called for strike two. Still no balls and two strikes. The next 0 2 pitch to him misses outside. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now batting. Digging in will be Teoscar Hernandez. Hit by a pitch last time, perhaps looking for a little payback. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. And it's fouled away. Now the 2 1 pitch. Popped him up. And he will make the catch here just in front of the first row, and that will end the inning. So now into the box is Will Myers. Popped into go. foul ground his last time up. Yeah, Matt, right he's got to make an adjustment right will. here. His swing definitely broke Fire. down, dropped his back shoulder. And thus, the result was a terrible pop up foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit on the ground out to short, taken in by Simeon. And that's out number one. So, next to bat will be Austin Nola, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Here's the first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. This is in the air out to left field. Hernandez is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. And that'll bring now in back. Adam Frazier. Flied out in his Adam. first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Bases are empty here with two men out. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. Now a ball rolls softly to second. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So now here is Dylan Carlson. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Dylan Carlson. First pitch of the AB on its way. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing and one. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. 0 and 2 count. Here's the pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Next, it'll be Lourdes Gurriel. A hit in two tries for him so far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. The 1 1. 
He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. One two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now that designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. Standing in now, Corey Dickerson. And now a check swing, but did he go around is the question. No, he did not, says Carl Dixon down at third base. It's ball one. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1 is a ball down and away. Man, he just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Guriel leads off first with one away. And he fouls this one off. The next 3 2. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Now that. Next, Number it'll be seven. Reese McGuire. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last eight. Now, here's a fly ball. Well hit. Myers going back. Gone. Big dogs got to eat. Now that so now to the plate, George Springer, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. He's going to have to figure out a way to get out of the middle of the plate. Just gave up a big bomb right there, and now he's missing right down the heart of the plate again. Could spell trouble for him. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. Again, another foul ball. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Stepping in for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He bounced out last time up. First pitch on its way. From an offensive standpoint, this is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the inning. You got a 1 0 count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Sixth inning now, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Trent Gresham. First offering on its way. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. The wind up and the 0 1. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Waiting on it is Hernandez. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Tommy Pham. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Fouled off. One out, nobody on. One and one to San Diego's leadoff batter. To short, hit hard. And there's his first base hit in this one. Oh 
the first baseman, number nine. In now, Jake Cronenworth. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Comes in with a changeup, and it's two and zero. Oh. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I could get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. And that's finally over for a strike. Set. Here's the 3 1. Line drive, and that's a base hit in a center field. Now back. That's shortstop. Up Hatton next go. is Fernando Tatis Chase. Jr. As he'll get Junior. caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Good waste pitch one and two. Wow the Padres have been scuffling so far they need to get a big hit and it's about time somebody comes through right about now. Count even at two and two. Looking to punch him out again the pitch down the left field line and deep. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The two two one more time. Bouncing ball for Simeon. They could get two here. Scooped up to second for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Manny Machado. And they're runners at the corners now. Machado. Now here's the first offering. And here's a ball hit in the air. And foul. A ball and a strike now to Machado. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He's got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll and stepping up is the shortstop Marcus Simeon. Here's Johnson enters now in a mop up roll as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 36. Here. Johnson. He's set and the pitch in the air down the line and left. Fam is there and he'll bring this one in. So now it'll be the four now hole pass. hitter, Rowdy number Tellis. 11. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. The 0 and 1 delivery. Bases are empty, one man out. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. At the plate now is Teoscar Hernandez. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Myers is under it. And he's got it for the final out of the frame. Late now is the designated hitter, Eric Cosmer. He'll start things out here in the bottom of the inning number seven. Hitter, Eric Cosmer. 
Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. This guy's throwing a gem so far. Biggest key, 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. The right here, number five, Will Meyer. Julian Merriweather George, takes please. the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Number 67, Julian Merriweather. So here's Will Myers. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Merriweather, a six foot four inch right hander. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Fouled away. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. And now a stoppage here as it looks like a balk has been called. And indeed, they're going to say he never came fully set before starting for the play. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1 and 1. Carlson has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Next, here is Austin now Nova. Got it. Flew out Catcher. last time up. Austin Nova. Luis Camposano will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. First pitch of the A.B. now as he tries to go out and get the slider but it's not there It's strike one. Ball one. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Two balls and a strike. Three and one. Hosmer leads off second with one gun in the inning. Got him to go after the change there, and that'll run things full three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup? Or do you stay now with him? Second base. Now in the box, Adam Frazier. Frazier. Here's the first pitch. The 1-0 home. Into center field, line drive base hit. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. It's a 6 1 game. The back, the center field. So, with a left handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left hander out of the bullpen. Your attention, please. Now, number 35, Jake. And to hit will be Trent Grisham as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Oh my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? Gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. Stepping in now, Tommy Pham. As he'll fall field. behind here as he goes Tommy. after a fastball that might have been out of the zone yeah. at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. In there at the knees, 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And it's fouled away. Again, a one-two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Stepping in next, now Jake Cronenworth. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing and one. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0 and 2. 
hey, if he's going to get swings and misses that balls up and out. Uh, we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Bounce it, just bounce it. All set for the start of the inning and set to go as the switch hitting outfielder Dylan Carlson. The right fielder, number three, Dylan Carlson. Pitch on the way. Here's a line drive out to left center, and this is going to get down for a leadoff base hit. The batter, number 13, second baseman, Gurriel. At the plate, Lourdes Gurriel as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Hey they tried to tie him up on that last pitch so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work but I like the idea behind it. Working for the punch out and the offering. Pops this one up. Coming in is Myers, but this will land untouched. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Up next, up next Corey Dickerson. Team. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Dickerson. First pitch coming, here it is. Here comes the 0 1. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he fouls this one off. The 0 2 once more. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. So the next to bat will be Reese McGuire. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last AB, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Fouled off. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Carlson leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Goes the other way as this is line to left. Pham gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. The shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. Now time is called and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. Here's the first pitch to him. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. Now the 1-1 one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. You know what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Here now the 2-2. Is laid off and the count runs full. 
Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you, you have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. Base so he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Maddie. Fernando Tatis Jr. But sent packing to begin the bottom of the inning. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. Two down. Eric Hosmer to the plate now. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First pitch on the way. Oh, and an ugly swing there. It's 0 and 1. Hey, this is a huge out right here. Two outs in the eighth inning. If this guy comes in and does his job, they hand it over to that beast in the ninth. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Set to start the ninth in this one. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, George Springer. Craig Stammen enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A bouncer to the left side. He's got it. And a low throw to first that bounces as he can't hang on. Now that the third base, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Into the box now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. One ball, no strikes to count. Now the 1 0 is looked at for the first strike. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And there's a base hit as well as that's into center field. Two straight hits to kick off the ninth. Now that the Marcus to the plate now, Marcus Semyon. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Late that time for a strike. Springer on second. Guerrero at first with no outs. Blue Jays shortstop with a one and two count. Hey, from a pitcher standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way. To two balls and two strikes now. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Oh, and he throws it away. And he'll come in to score from second base, and that is a direct result, obviously, of that now poor, that poor throw. Number 11. Next to hit is Rowdy Tellez. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. First pitch on its way, as he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. And he falls behind now, 2-0. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. That makes it an 8-4 to four ball game. Now that so Let's now move. to the plate to Oscar, Oscar Hernandez. He Let's flew move. out in his last A.B. Set. Here it comes. Pops this one up. 
Cronenworth is under it. Two down. Into the box, Dylan Carlson. He's got one the hit in four at bats. Dylan Carlson. Now the first pitch. And it's fouled away. Two out here and a runner at second. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. This is on the ground over the first. The tag, and he is out. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And standing in is the Four veteran outfielder, Will Myers. The right fielder. Will Adam Simber, a right-handed reliever, standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Adam Simber. From the stretch. Here comes the 0-1. And that misses 1-1. One one. Hit hard on the ground towards second. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Now that the catcher. Next up Luis. is Luis Camposano. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Fouled off. Oh and two here it comes and a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. So here's Adam Frazier single home run in his last time up. Ready to deliver here comes the first pitch as he'll lift it up in the air. This is back behind second. Guriel ranges back and he has it for out number two. Next up, Trent Grisham. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. First offering. Myers is off of first with two away. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game. This Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. 8 4 tonight. The Jays jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Pablo Lopez is the winning pitcher of record. Denelson Lamette was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. <laughs> Fans are final line score tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays, eight runs on 11 hits. No errors, they left eight men on base. For the Padres, four runs on eight hits. Two errors, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 27 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Petco Park, a sellout, 40,209. The Padres thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.